Hi there, Chris van here at Blue Rhino Safaris. Uh, let me take you through the tour for um, Rutterfeld and West Coast for 2018. Uh, the trip will always be more or less the same. Uh, it's slightly different from last year. And uh, let me quickly take you through the, the route itself. If you um, look here at the top, uh, Uppington is on the right hand side there. So I come from Joburg via Uppington. We sleep our first night at Kakamas. We sleep on a wine estate. Uh, and if you arrive early enough, you can do a wine tasting, a brandy tasting, a gin tasting. Uh, they've got various kinds of things happening there. So that will be our first night. Uh, we meet at Kakamas. If you come from the Cape, you just come straight up. And uh, before Uppington turn left, you get to Kakamas. Next morning, we are out and uh, we visit the Ugrabis Falls and uh, have lunch at Ugrabis Falls. From Ugrabis Falls, back onto the main road to Pofader and down to Klein Pilla, where we'll sleep for the second night. From there, from there we will do the Namakwa 4x4 Eco Route uh, all along the Orange River. Uh, very interesting stories, uh, lovely sites, uh, interesting roads that we take all the way to one of the uh, river campsites. We will camp uh, in the bush for the night on the Namako 4x4 route. Then uh, the next day we continue with the route all the way through to Fjord's Drift. Fjord's Drift we sleep for the night. Uh, there's a few pizza places, a little bit of luxury uh, for some who, who might need a pizza or two. Uh, then we take the back road through to the Richtersveld, a lovely, lovely road to drive, uh, very scenic. And uh, we go all the way into Richtersveld. We spend two nights at the De Wip campsite. And then uh, we follow the road over the river back down to the Kuckerboom Kloof campsite, where we spend one night at Kuckerboom Kloof. And then the next day we head out uh, onto the west coast, past Alexander Bay through the diamond areas. Port Nolith, we stop for some fuel, get ourselves organized, and we travel down to Honaklip Bay. Honaklip Bay, we sleep in their tents. Uh, it's uh, it's ensuite tents, and um, very nice. You don't have to pitch your own tent for the night. We also do a nice seafood meal, and uh, have a great evening. A lot of fun to celebrate our, our victory over the... Uh, 4x4 areas that we've been through. From Honda Club Bay, we travel further down uh, along the West Coast National Park and we sleep one night in the West Coast National Park. It can be rather unpleasant that time of the year, so I don't want to spend too many nights, but it is really worth seeing. It is really fun to sleep there. It's, it's a nice experience and that is our last night. Next morning, we finish up, get through to Fredendal for about lunchtime and uh, stop for lunch at the Wimpy if they are open and uh, from there you can decide what you want to do. Back to Joburg is quite easy, Van Reinsdorp, Kalfinia all the way up and back to Joburg, alternatively down to Cape Town for a few days. I have my Passes and Parks Eastern Cape Tour that starts about four days after this tour finishes. So what I do is I travel down to the Cape region, if I have some work to do there then I do that. Alternatively, I leave my vehicle in Cape Town, I fly back to Joburg to see my family and uh, a few days later travel back down to Cape Town, collect my vehicle and start my trip uh, for the passes and parks. Passes and parks, you'll always get a good discount if you've done the um, Richtersveld tour, you'll get a good discount for passes and parks, which will make it in total a nine nights plus about four hours a break plus six, so it gives you about Two and a half weeks of traveling which is a uh, really a nice tour very relaxed lovely scenery um, some of the oldest mountains and uh, folds in the geological crust that we have on on that side uh, that that you have to see and that's why it's such lovely rock formations if you drive past Pofader um, on your way to a Springbok or something like that and you've seen the mountains on the right hand side then those are the ones that we are going to see. It's uh, it's really nice. It's a World Heritage Site for South Africa, uh, the Richtersveld area, and uh, I'll tell you more about that on the trip. So um, join me. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're trying to catch the end of the Blomikis, so uh, if we're a little bit lucky, we'll see some Blomikis, 
and uh, we'll combine the west coast with Richtersveld, the Makwa for by four root and a few flowers. So join me for this trip. It's going to be a lovely one. Um, the one I did in 2017 was spectacular and I'm so looking forward to do it again that um, I can't wait. So join me and uh, let's go and have a good time. Cheers.